what's going on guys Ramesh here back again with another video in this video I would like to inform you that I have a to do application on my github profile and this to do application I have developed using GSP, Serlet, JDBC and MySQL database and this to do application is very helpful for students uh, to learn you know how to make a web application using GSP servlet JDBC and MySQL database stack so this project especially uh, you know for students uh, especially for final year students okay so they make a project in final year right so this project you can take uh, as a reference to create any kind of project using GSP servlet JDBC and MySQL database well I highly recommend you guys if you are if, if you are planning to develop a web application using GSP servlet JDBC and MySQL database then you can go ahead and you can play with this project okay so to do application has uh, the features like add to do edit to do list to do delete to do login sign up feature and this project has a responsive layout and here are the technology stack that, that I have used to develop this project I have used Java 8 plus, JSP servlet, JDBC, MySQL database, I, I have used Eclipse ID to develop this project and I have used Tomcat server that is 8 plus to deploy this application. If you want to develop this project from scratch, I have written a blog tutorial uh, you know step by step. So you can go ahead and you can you know just look into these blog posts. So this is around a uh, three part series. You can you know go ahead and you can see all these three parts to develop to do application from the scratch well first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the demo of this project okay and if you think this project is going to help you then only you can go ahead and you can set up this project on your local machine okay so first I'm gonna show you the demo of this project and next I'm gonna show you how you can download this project on your local machine and how you can you know set up this project on your eclipse id and i'm gonna also show you how to set up the database and how you can you know deploy this project on tomcat server in eclipse id all right i will show you everything that you want to make uh, you know uh, this project live on your uh, local machine okay uh, let's go ahead and let's first see the demo of this project okay this project is kind of uh, you know very interesting so i highly recommend you guys to watch this video till end uh, you might get something out of this video okay so look at here this is the login form so basically uh, any user uh, can use this application uh, you know to maintain their to do's all right for example uh, i am going to use this to do application i uh, know to maintain all my to do list okay so before logging to the to do application you shall you should have to sign up this application okay so look at you here you have a login and sign up option so before login you need to sign up or you need to you know register to this to do application so go ahead and just click on sign up here and you need to enter the first name let me give first name as Ramesh last name as a Fartari and username I want to give you something like Ramesh Padatari and password as password. All right. Once you enter all the details, just hit submit, and you can see here user registered successfully. So once user registered successfully, then user can able to log in with you know username and password. So go ahead and click on login uh, link over here. And just enter the username that just we have registered the username is Ramesh Fartare and password is password okay and go ahead and click on submit and there we go so user successfully logged in to Todo application now user can use this Todo application to manage all their to do's for example I can just add a few to do's so let's say I want to learn you know hibernate so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add to do title as hibernate framework otherwise i will say learn hibernate framework and to do description i'm just add 
learn Hibernate framework in depth okay and to do status so keep initially to do status as in progress and once you complete this to do then you can make it as a complete okay initially let's keep to do status as in progress let's say i want to complete this uh, you know to do uh, or this learning hibernate stuff uh, end of this month okay i will select uh, 30th of april date and click on save and here we go learn hibernate framework so this record i, I was already created so let me add one more to do here let's say i want to you know learn learn spring framework okay spring framework and let's add a to do description something like learn spring framework in depth and initially keep to do status in progress and select the date for this to do and hit save button and there we go the learn spring framework okay so we have added a few to do's to the to do's list now let's say uh, let's say i completed a uh, learn hibernate framework on uh, this action item then what i'm going to do is i'm going to just click on edit and i say instead of in progress i say to do status as complete and then hit save and there we go to do status true so false means uh, false means in progress and true means complete okay you can maintain the status over here okay if if to do status is true then you can you can uh, you know have a string here like completed and if to do status is false then you can have a string here like in progress okay and you can uh, delete the to do's as well for example i'm going to delete this one post record and there we go so this is a simple to do application uh, we use to manage the to do's and any user can you know use this to do application to manage their to do's all right so, and here you can see here logout button over here so if user want to log out then user can click on log out here and user will successfully log out from the application all right this is a very simple to do application but you can take this application as a reference to create any kind of project okay so this to do application has a crude operation and login and sign up so these are the common features that uh, you can use in any projects well this this project i am going to recommend especially for students uh, you know who are going to create uh, their internship project or final year project so so already uh, you know there are many students have asked me like uh, if there is uh, any project on your github uh, profile then can you suggest like that so I highly recommend uh, this project if you are planning to develop using JSP Servlet and MySQL database. And uh, yeah, there are a lot many projects I have hosted uh, already on my GitHub uh, profile, but they are kind of advanced uh, projects using like Spring Boot, React.js, Spring Boot, Angular, Spring Boot, Time Leap. Okay, so if you want to create projects uh, with advanced technologies, then you can go ahead and you can check out my GitHub account. All right. Let me show you uh, this project. Uh, you know, supports uh, multiple devices like mobile, iPad, desktop. So just uh, you know, inspect this page. Right click and inspect. And here you can see this is the you know toggle device toolbar. Click on it, and you can see here this is the responsive. And yeah, here we go. It it will support you know any. Uh, mobile devices okay this is basically a responsive web, web application i have used bootstrap to make this project responsive okay great so now we have looked into the demo of this project now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to set up this project on your local machine okay so i have already you know set up this project on my eclipse id uh, let me first delete this project and let me show you step by step how you can download the project how you can import in eclipse id and how you can set up the database and how you can deploy this project on tomcat server well let me quickly delete this
okay so what you can do is you can go ahead and just download this project as a zip file or you if you if you have a git then you can go ahead and you can clone this project by using this git link okay then you can go ahead and open your folder and extract this zip file all right so already extracted now you can see here it doesn't contain any eclipse specific files and if you try to import this project then you will get a you know warning in eclipse for example here if i try to import this project go to the file and import and go to the general and choose existing project into workspace and say browser and if you try to select and import it will give no projects are found to import okay because eclipse expect this project to have you know eclipse specific files but this this uh, you know project don't don't have any eclipse specific files so in order to uh, you know resolve this kind of uh, issue what you can do is you can just create one new brand project in eclipse id go to the file new and then choose dynamic web project and let's give a project name as to do management gsp server gdbc mysql just remove this branch name so github basically provides a branch name uh, with the project name like this and go ahead and uh, hit finish okay and what you need to do is you need to just copy all this content expect build just remove this build and uh, build folder and select all these files and go back to the project and click on this project and just paste it and say yes to all that's it and right click on this project and then go to the properties and then go to the java build path and here you can you know add a jdk and apart from that you need to also add a server uh, i mean the tomcat server click on add library here and choose server runtime next and choose apache tomcat 8 so i have already you know added apache tomcat 8 to my eclipse id okay you can go ahead and you can download apache tomcat from the uh, google and you can add to eclipse id okay so choose apache tomcat 8 here and finish apply and okay so in order to add tomcat server to the eclipse what you need to do is you need to uh, let me first delete and let me show you okay so go to the servers option here and you can see here click this link to create a new server okay go ahead and click on this link and here you can see add option okay here you can browse the apache tomcat that you have downloaded from the google so i have already have apache tomcat 8 on my file system so i'm going to choose this path here finish and hit finish and now you can able to see here the tomcat server is successfully added to the eclipse all right that's it uh, next step is we need to set up the database right so open a mysql workbench i highly recommend you guys to use mysql workbench uh, to connect to mysql server so mysql workbench is basically a client which we use to interact with mysql server okay so go ahead and create a database first just write the statement create database followed by the name of the database that is to do management okay and just run this sql statement and here you can see the statement is successfully executed and just click on refresh and to do management database was created successfully okay now what you need to do is go to the project again and here you can see script.sql just click on it and just copy this sql script and go back to the mysql workbench and just remove this and paste it here and select database here first okay to do underscore management so once you select this database then this database uh, you know uh, marked as a bold okay you can see here and once you select the database then you can just select all these uh, tables or script and then click on execute and tables are created 
all right so tables are successfully created that is to do and users now next step is what we're going to do is we're going to run our application in tomcat server right click on the project and run as run on server and if you click on next you can able to see here the project is already configured in server and hit finish okay and let's wait and there we go the project is successfully deployed uh, in tomcat server and there we go this is the url okay so let me copy this url and go back to the browser and go to the new tab and just hit this link in a browser and there we go all right so we have successfully you know set up this to do application on our file system so just go ahead and follow these all step you can able to make this project live on your file system or on your local machine okay all right guys i hope uh, you know this project you may find useful and this project uh, I, as, as i uh, mentioned this project i am going to suggest for students uh, okay because they might choose gsp satellite uh, you know technologies to make a project as a final year project or in intensive project so all right guys uh, hit like to this video if you find this project useful or a video is full whenever i will get a free time apart from my office work then i will try to create these kind of projects and uh, host on my github profile so you can go ahead and you can follow me on uh, github so whenever i will publish such kind of projects you will get notified okay so subscribe to this uh, youtube channel whenever i will publish such kind of videos uh, then you will get notified thanks for watching guys i will see you in next video with another interesting uh, topic or you know project all right great